Every car, boat, and homeowner in Florida still paying for the hurricanes of 2004, 2005, as we all recall well, and we will be paying for them for at least the next five years. That cost is coming in the form of an assessment on your policy. Our exclusive capital correspondent, Mike Vasilinda, tells us the assessment could get more expensive if Florida receives a direct hit from a major storm. This $2,700 homeowner's policy has an additional $76 on it to cover the state's losses from the 2004-2005 storm season. On Thursday, Governor Rick Scott and the state cabinet will be told the state-run insurer of last resort, Citizens, is in better shape than it's ever been. The company can weather $17 billion in losses. But a big storm hitting Palm Beach could cost the company up to $56 billion. In St. Petersburg, the Citizens' exposure is $30 nine billion you hear horror stories of uh, in instead of the three percent assessment that we're paying right now from 04 and 05 of 20 to 30 percent a year for for 20 or 30 years this homeowner got socked with a 34 percent rate increase by a private insurance company this year while their neighbor who's with citizens will pay less than 10 percent more State lawmakers balked this year at raising citizens' rates more than the 10 percent already allowed by law. Private insurers say part of the problem is that because citizens' rates were frozen for two years, the last resort company is actually cheaper than private insurers. Citizens probably is writing business that private insurers would write if they could compete with citizens. And because citizens is growing by 20 percent a year, the risk of increased assessments to everyone in Florida are growing higher each year. In Tallahassee, Mike Vassalinda, WPTV, News Channel 5. And this number is sobering. Citizens, by its own estimate, says it would be at least $11 billion short if the once-in-every-100-year storm were to hit Florida.